We can spend over 40 hours in our cubicles, and sometimes those spaces are dark and depressing, and we don't put any style into them. But there's no reason why your workspace can't be as warm and inviting as your living room. So I am here to do some cubicle makeovers and create zen-like, creative, inspiring spaces for you. This is Cube Takeover. Hi, my name is Matt and I'm a production coordinator here at Scripps Networks for Food Network, Cooking Channel, and Food.com. The thing I hate most about my workspace is it's just organized chaos, if you will. You know, you can kind of see there's clumps of chaos in certain areas. One of my big problems is hard drives. As a production coordinator, I'm dealing with tons of drives all the time. It would be nice to have like one place that I could put them that I know where they're gonna be um, and not worry about it. I do have a lot of books and magazines that I have picked up, and they just kind of sit there and pile up. I'm a big food person. I like to cook. So, you know, I bring my lunch to work a lot of times, and then I just have all these containers that I'll forget to bring home. When it comes to my design style, I feel like in general I don't really have one. I just want things to be practical, and yeah, it would be nice to have something a little, a little better. I work with lots of people with great ideas and creativity, and I'm looking forward to seeing what Meg comes up with. Thanks, Matt. Okay, now that he is out of here, we are ready to get started and give this cube a makeover. Matt didn't give me a lot of style direction, so I'm going to give him some. We're gonna go with a very classic Americana look, and we're gonna give a nod to his foodie love with almost a little bit of a modern picnic vibe. In order to do that, we have to clear everything out and demo the space, so let's get started. Now that we're all cleared out, I'm ready to bring in the design. One of Matt's biggest problems to solve is the sad desk lunch. So I brought in this wooden cart to sort of speak to the Americana vibe that we're giving him, and I filled it with mason jars for water and condiments. We gave him some chambray napkins, and retro trays like this are not just for the cafeteria. These are gonna keep Matt's lunch contained and his desk clean. But what if we keep this open yeah, and we keep it on the inside and then we can put some stuff in there? Yeah, because then it's like a little pop. The second problem that Matt gave me to solve is that he has an abundance of hard drives for his job and he needs them organized and easy to access. We don't want boring organization up in this piece, so we're going to speak to his love of food and wine and use this wine rack, but put it on its side to create a nice hard drive organizational grid. Bam! This mini restaurant sandwich board is perfect because it speaks to the Americana look, it's totally functional for work, and these DIY tacks definitely give a nod to the foodie in Matt. Then on the back, you can write something cool. Foodie style, let's talk about it. Now, let's go get Matt. So you gave me very minimal style I did. inspiration. So I just chose for you and I hope yep. you like it. Let's keep it, let's All just right. keep it closed until we go on in and look. <laughs> Whoa. Everything looks pretty awesome. I'm like, I'm really surprised. Like I wasn't expecting any of this. Yay! So we went with a classic Americana look with an homage to your foodie vibe. It's very open, it's kind of neutral, so you can add to it if you want as you sort of find your own style. This is awesome right here because I can keep like random little drinks that I come across or sugar pack salt. We want to banish that sad desk lunch situation that you had going on. Right. And here we have some little trays in there so that you can eat on your desk, but we'll keep it clean, it'll keep it contained. This wine rack drive thing, genius. Never would have thought of that. So you told me that you take your lunch to work every day and that you, you were right, you had a ton of Tupperware in here. So you put the excess in here and then we put your tote bag in here to encourage you to please take this home for the weekend. I'm loving the little taco thing right here. This is just like, I mean, what's not to like? Gonna get an all classic Americana foodie punch in please. Boom. Bam. All right, fool, get to work. All right, thank you. <laughs> 